Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Namah Shivaya Om Sutta said, O saintly men, the question that you put to me is very pertinent. Prompted by my love toward you all, and remembering my preceptor Vyasa, the benefactor of the three worlds, I shall tell you everything. All of you listen attentively. The entire essence of Vedanta is contained in the excellent Shiva Purana. It dispels all sins. It affords the attainment of the highest truth, Brahman. O Brahmanas, the great glory of Shiva that destroys the sins of the Kali age unfolds itself in the Shiva Purana and yields the fruits of Dharma, Artha, Kama, and Moksha. By the single-minded study of that most excellent Shiva Purana, excellent Brahmanas attain salvation. It is only as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world that Brahmahatya, the sin of slaying a Brahmana, and other terrible sins display themselves. It is only as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world that the evil portents of Kali fearlessly roam about. It is only as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world that the different sacred texts clash together in disputation. It is difficult even for great men to comprehend Shiva's features as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. The cruel attendants of Yama roll about fearlessly as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the other Puranas roar loudly on the earth as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the holy centers enter into mutual wrangles and disputes on the earth as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the mantras rejoice in mutual disputes as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the places of pilgrimage engage in mutual disputes as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the altars and pedestals of the gods engage in mutual disputes as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the gifts engage themselves in disputes as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the gods engage themselves in mutual disputes as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. All the philosophical tenets engage themselves in mutual disputes as long as the Shiva Purana has not risen high in the world. O foremost among Brahminical sages, I cannot adequately describe the fruit accruing from reciting and listening to this Shiva Purana. Even so, O sinless ones, I shall succinctly describe its greatness as narrated to me by Vyasa. Please listen attentively. He who reads a single stanza, or even half of it, piously, becomes free from sin instantaneously. He who reads as much of Shiva Purana as he can every day, with devotion and alertness, is called Jivan Mukta, a living, liberated soul. He who continues to worship the Shiva Purana daily undoubtedly derives the fruit of the horse sacrifice. He, with a craving for an ordinary position in life, who listens to Shiva Purana, even from a person other than me, undoubtedly is freed from sin. He who bows to this Shiva Purana undoubtedly derives the fruit of adoration of all the gods. 
Please listen to the meritorious benefit that accrues to the man who copies Shiva Purana and gives the manuscript to the devotees of Shiva. He will have the same benefit, very difficult to attain in the world, as that of the study of all Shastras and of commenting on the Vedas. He who observes fast on Chaturdashi, the fourteenth day in the lunar fortnight, and conducts discourses and comments on the Shiva Purana in the assembly of the devotees of Shiva, is the most excellent of all. He shall derive the benefit of the repetition of Gayatri, syllable by syllable. He will enjoy all worldly pleasures here and attain salvation hereafter. I shall tell you the benefit derived by him who reads or listens to this after observing fast on Chaturdashi by keeping awake in the night. This is the truth, undoubtedly the truth. He will get the benefit derived by the man who makes gifts of gold equal in weight to himself, to the Brahmanas, with Vyasa at their head, at the total eclipse of the sun, in all the holy centers like Kurukshetra, etc., many times. Indra and other devas wait eagerly for the directives of the man who chants the verses of the Shiva Purana day and night. The sacred rites performed by the man who regularly reads or listens to the Shiva Purana are millions of times more effective than usual. He who reads the Rudra Sanghita of Shiva Purana with pure and concentrated mind becomes a purified soul within three days, even though he might have killed a Brahmana. He who reads the Rudra Sanghita three times in a day near the image of Bhairava, refraining from useless talk, shall get all cherished desires fulfilled. If the slayer of a brahmana circumambulates the vata or bilva tree, reciting the verses from Rudra Sanghita, he will become purified of the sin of brahmana slaughter. The Kailasha Sanghita is even greater than that. It is of Vedic status and stature. The meaning of pranava, the sacred syllable Aum, is amplified in it. O Brahmanas, Lord Shiva knows the greatness of Kailasha Sanghita in its entirety. Vyasa knows half of it, and I a moiety of the same. I shall tell you a part of it, since it is impossible to say everything. On comprehending it, people instantly attain purity of mind. O Brahmanas, after long experience, I do not see any sin that cannot be quelled by Rudra Sanghita. Drinking that nectar prepared by Lord Shiva after churning the ocean of the Upanishads and hand it over to Kumara, Lord Kartikeya, the devotee shall become immortal. The person performing expiation for the sins of Brahmahatya, etc., should read that Sanghita for a month. He shall be freed of that sin. By a single recital, that Sanghita destroys the sin originating from the acceptance of monetary gifts from defiled persons, partaking of defiled food, and indulging in foul talks. The benefit derived by a person who reads that Sanghita in the grove of bilva trees in a temple of Shiva is beyond description in words. If a person reads that Sanghita with devotion at the time of performing Shraddha and feeding the Brahmanas, all his Pitris, ancestors, attain the great region of Shiva. The devotee who observes fast on the Chaturdashi day and reads that Sanghita under a bilva tree is directly identified with Shiva and is worshipped by the gods. The other Sanghitas are no doubt the bestowers of the benefit of fulfilling all cherished desires, but Rudra Sanghita and Kailasha Sanghita are particularly excellent, full of divine sports and absolute knowledge. Created by Lord Shiva himself and qualitatively equal to the Supreme Brahman, Shiva Purana is extolled on a par with the Vedas. Thus, the divine Shiva Purana 
with its seven sanghitas, accords salvation more readily than any other scripture. He who reads this Shiva Purana with devotion is a Jivan Mukta. It is pure. It renders help to all living beings. It is the unrivaled queller of the threefold calamities. It bestows welfare upon the good. It is of the nature of Vedanta. It contains mantras and bestows liberation. It is knowable by wise men of unprejudiced mind. The Shiva Purana is the best among the Puranas, extolling the great being who glows in Vedanta and the Vedas. He who reads and listens to it with devotion becomes a favorite of Shiva and attains the supreme position here and hereafter.